bunches. Now, as you saw in the short, we have this Kismet Popular foot pump. Circa, I don't know, 1940s, 1950s. I do know that Kismet pumps uh, made foot pumps for the RAF to use during the war uh, to pressurise the oxygen tanks for the pilots in an emergency. Uh, that was ones with like a, a dual cylinder on that gave air one way and the other way and I think it went up to something like 600 psi. Quite a lot of pressure but kept our boys alive long enough to get to safety and uh, stick it to the Bosch. What we're going to do with this one, rather than trying to revive life back into it because basically it's asthmatic, I don't even think it pumps any pressure out. We're going to make this into a desk lamp. Which brings us to the next component. Won't be doing anything with this today. We're going to do the lamp first and uh, see how we go. I say today, you might see the second part of it in the video. I don't know. We'll see how we go for time. So, what we're going to do is get rid of that and replace it with yeah, that. What we'll have to do is take the piston out of the uh, out of the um, foot pump and replace it with this shaft. It'll still look right. Still look like a pump on the below half. We're gonna get rid of this end, which will leave us with this long thing here. I'm hoping to retain this because on the pump it has a spring, obviously to retain it when you take your foot off the pump, so you can push it back down again. I'm hoping the spring is gonna go under here, but we'll see how it goes. Okay folks, so here we have the lamp, good old British 3 pin plug, loads of videos, check those out, it's boring, nerdy, but mega mega interesting now, so we, we've got 3 pin plugs in the UK, rest of the world 2 pin, looks bloody dangerous, we'll take that off later, might even show you inside, see what that's all about, so, I'm expecting there's a nut under here. So I'll get my little knife out and I'm trim around the felt that's underneath. Get that out of there. And what we have is a nut and the cable going in. So we'll see about uh, see about getting that out. As you can tell viewers, I'm not uh, in the workshop. That's why you can hear the bubbling in the background, that's the fish tank. Well, let's see if we can get that screw out first of all. Ugh. Remember it's been in there since God knows when. Take a little bit of uh, finagling to get that out. There we go. Oh, something happened. Can always do a video on the three pin plug. What do you think? Put your comments in the uh, Below, and we'll uh, we'll have a think about that. See if we can do that. So, what's that done for us? Well, that's got us to the point where we need said three-pin plug off, so we can actually take the nut off and feed everything through. Now, this kind of three-pin plug came about health and safety from the European Union and God knows where else. Uh, the health and safety said that everything has got to be attached. There's no way to actually get in the plug. 
you can still change. Give me a little knife. Still change the fuse that's in there. Like that. Which, to be honest, it's got some sort of brown muck on there. God knows what that is. We'll replace the whole plug anyway. Because there's no way of actually getting into there unless you uh, mangle it. At which point, no point in doing it. Might as well get a new plug that we can actually do that with. But yeah, Europeans. I don't know. Yeah, they always come up with some funny ideas. The thing is, some of them are alright. But some of them, complete waste of time. God knows why they come up with half the stuff they did. There's a thing about straight bananas, I believe. You can't sell bananas that are curved. I think it's a bit of an old wife's tale, really, that one, but you never know. Right, here we go. So we'll cut that off and replace that all together. That bin. So now what we need to do, feed the cable back through the base. Now I did look at getting a kit for this job, you know, that comes with the, the brass fitting and the stem and all that. Turns out they're about 30 odd quid. So, what you do is find an old lamp in a junk store or thrift store, as the Americans call it, that sort of a job. And then, uh, then you can use it to cannibalise it, I suppose. Now, then, let's see if we can undo that nut, shall we? Get it where you lot can see it. Pick this one because the cable is brown. Most cables in the UK, black and white. We're going to struggle with that one. Bear with me, viewers, I'll get the right size spanner. Alright, so we have the right size spanner. Bit of a bugger to get to it though, so bear with me. Don't help all this stuff around it. Don't get nothing on this, do they? Bear with me, folks. Tell you what, I'll fit you back when I've got it off. That way I can swear a lot. Don't have to worry about YouTube shutting me down then. This is when he sat down and picked up his book. Don't let him call a witness. Call it. Well, call it. <laughs> that was simple. Gee whiz. Tell you, you don't make them like you used to, are you? Oh, hang on. Let me turn the TV down. There we go. How's that? Dear me. That took some getting off that. Good job I can bodge it. I mean, yeah, look how that ended up. <laughs> so, what we're left with, lamp, stem, don't know about that bit, might have to cut that off, I'm hoping not. In fact, let's take that off anyway. If it will come off. So then what we get is 
Prepare for the bin. Bin. So then what we have is the stem, which is going to replace the piston. You see? Might be asked to see it a little bit lower down. I don't know. We'll play with the length of it when we get there. So the next step, new discoveries all the time. I might be able to take that out as well. Anyway, whatever. We'll come to that when it comes to wiring the whole thing up. In the meantime, I'm going to call that part one. Part two, we'll be taking this puppy apart, cleaning things up, and putting it all together, and see what we get. Hopefully, what we're going to get is a table lamp that will stand like that, bulb on this end, and it's going to look pretty damn fine. In the meantime, go over to Blown V8. I don't know why I keep saying that. Blown 8 cylinder, apologies AD. Go check out his channel. He'll be keeping you abreast of things that we're doing at the museum and uh, have a look at some of his videos. He's been back to Edinburgh Power Station. Fascinating video in itself. And uh, yeah, so you subscribe to Blown 8 cylinder, uh, go over to Junkyard Moog, uh, AL, ALW Exploration. IKS, uh, Hell on Earth Boys, I think they've done Egber as well, not sure, keep an eye on their channel, subscribe to them all and uh, tell them that Beardy Bodger sent you. In the meantime, ta ta for now. <laughs>